we have found that if you're going to work for a company, you're going to expect more than just a paycheck. You're going to expect a quality of life and a quality of business that's different than what we had in the past. But it will create positive work environments where people will choose to go to work and that will encourage companies to do um, sustainable design and sustainable construction. At Tri-C we hear a lot of positive feedback from students and from employees in these LEED certified buildings that take advantage of the daylight of how, how nice it is to see have the natural light coming in. So you can see the exposed concrete floor, the uh, concrete blocks in the wall and, and the exposed ceiling and, and ductwork and, and, and piping. That was a conscious decision to be using fewer materials in the construction of the building. All the stormwater is managed on-site through uh, on-site infiltration basins and all the water that hits the building itself is directed out into those basins. One of our main themes has always been trying to bring entrepreneurs and innovators together with companies and institutions that have resources to make an impact to make things happen. So basically we put out there, we say, here's a vision for, for your facilities for 2030, um, and we think you can get there. And you can agree or not agree, but let's just try. There's no penalty for not getting there, so, and it doesn't cost you anything to join the district, so you might as well give it a shot. I would think that most of Cuyahoga County and Summit County would be encouraged to do the 2030 program. I believe it's important for people to understand exactly the type of energy use that they have compared to their neighbors. Jurgens has been committed to the environmental movement for 25 years plus. Uh, we made our big commitment by coming to this site, uh, the old Collin Railroad Yards. We tore down the old buildings, shredded them up, and uh, created the first two feet of foundation for our building. So when you talk about recycling, we not only live it, but we uh, actually stand on it every single day. By working four 10-hour days, they drive 20% less time on the roads, and uh, as a result, uh, that gasoline is safe uh, for society. Funny, we targeted wind, looking for high-volume stampings, but there really weren't a lot of high-volume stampings that we found out, but we found there was plenty of opportunity in solar. See what it is that you're throwing away, and what items you're throwing away that you could recycle or eliminate waste. Um, that's a simple first step. Anybody can do that. Within Talent Products, we retrofitted all the old metal halide lighting to T5 fluorescent. We were averaging $12,000 a month in electric bills and now we're down in the $6,500 a month range. And most of the companies that do these retrofits will do all the paperwork for you as well to get the tax credit. So it's, it's really quite easy. The percentage of folks that are saying that sustainable practices is important to the future of their businesses is now 66%, uh, so that's internationally. A similar survey done of U.S. manufacturers just a few years ago, the number was like 16%. So Talon is unusual, Jurgens is unusual, they're really kind of leading uh, the pack here. There's 6,000 manufacturers in the seven county region, and uh, so there's a lot of uh, outreach and education and awareness that still needs to be done. There used to be an old wives tale that it costs more energy to shut it off and restart it than to leave it running. It's not true. Our last newsletter had a uh, had a little uh, metric on, on all the money we've gotten for all the different waste streams. And it was a ton of money. You know, it's very significant. So there's no question it pays.